I, I wonder if there's a semantic trick in this, like the word regulation is there's some other word, you know, regulation speaks to sort of like this. If people don't like it. I wish there was some way that it spoke more to the benefits of it as opposed to sort of the procedural nature of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure how to win, uh, to win this argument or to, or to change the narrative on this, but I, I, I do think people need to re be reminded of how much they benefit. Um, you know, listening to these tech executives talking about the evils of regulation, but they flew yeah. to that meeting on a regulated airplane. They took a regulated car on, to from the airport on regulated right. roads with a regulated taxi driver who has a, a license and, and knows how to drive. And then they took, they went into a regulated building. They took a regulated elevator up to the meeting room. They sat down, they had a regulated bottle of water. And they had some regulated <laughs> food. Uh, you know, and they benefit at every stage of the process. They're they're benefiting from regulation that delivers value, right? right? Like, like, would you uh, would you drive your kids to school on a sixteen Z highway where there's no paint, no rules, no cops, no license right. plates, no or no speed limits? Uh, right? No, you know, we'll just no, no smog, <laughs> no, no smog checks, no nothing. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so back to AI. Yeah. Um, you know, people, I, I think you can, you can sit down and talk to an individual legislator and get them to understand that there, are, there's a whole range of risks, right? Not just extinction, but, um, the psychosis inducing behavior that I mentioned, you know, now, uh, you know, Meta is explicitly authorizing sexual conversations with children, uh, you know, yeah. I, yeah, I just, it's I not. Just, I just don't. And and writing it down and like a you know in official yeah. like language like in the meeting notes like yes we'll uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know we, we run this by council and they're good with it yeah yeah, okay. yeah it's good print it <laughs> uh, and and so I I think legislators uh, can understand that the, there's a whole range of risks and they need uh, there needs to be for example liability right almost all other products in uh, in our ecosystem, uh, liability operates. If it, you know, there are yes. reasonable expectations about what a product does, and when it, when the product fails to meet those expectations and causes harm, uh, you have a grounds for uh, a lawsuit, and and that ends up balancing um, the balancing the risks out. That the you know you you end up making the product safe enough. That yeah, it can't maybe things can't be perfect, but safe enough that the occasional lawsuit uh, and the occasional harm may happen, um, but you are uh, you're pretty clear that you're delivering a lot more benefit to the world through the product um, than you are causing harm, which is which is monetized through our trial system. So, but yeah. technology gets away with saying. Our product can do anything it wants. It can send your data to China. It can print your private conversations up in Times Square. It can delete all the data in your in your databases. It can, uh, you know, wipe out your whole payroll history. Uh, it can do anything it wants, and we are not liable at all. How, how is this happen? How how is this carve out? possible the tech has has managed to carve itself out in this special place where it is somehow you know unregulatable it's 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 there's there's been a ton of american innovation in the technology space in the last 30 years and so there's this feeling this vibe that any sort of regulation is going to crush the american spirit of making money and and you know innovation and, and progress and all this stuff and so they've carved out this place in the regulatory world where they're untouchable it it's so wild to me yeah um and you know there are some cases working through the courts slowly i think the crowdstrike case is is a very important one so crowdstrike is a computer security company that um actually offers a guarantee it's in the contract we guarantee that our software operates without error and um and it, as they failed, uh, their software actually shut down millions of computers uh, and, and 
damaged the configurations of those computers in such a way that it was quite expensive and slow and difficult to to get them to reboot correctly. And Delta Airlines in particular uh, was was put offline. I mean, they couldn't function for a couple of days and that cost them at least $500 million uh, in, just in direct refunds to, uh, to customers. And so they sued CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is arguing that, well, our contract says we're not liable. You know, but your contract also says we guarantee that it that it works correctly. So, yeah. uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but it'll take time. You know, it may take several years for this to get resolved. And yeah. generally, the courts in in not not in there are no identical cases, but generally in the past, uh, the courts in the U.S. have said, well, the contract. You know, you shouldn't have signed the contract. Uh, you agreed to those terms, or you've agreed to those terms. Um, you know, I think what needs to happen is that uh, probably legislatures need to say that contracts that can't have those types of terms that um, that that's invalid. Uh, you you can't yeah. waive certain rights. You can't waive the right to redress in case of injury, and um, and I I, I think. There are similar. I'm not really obviously. I'm not a lawyer, but there are uh, you know there are similar kinds of uh, rulings saying that that certain kinds of rights can't be waived by by a contract that that makes that part of the contract invalid. So we'll see. Um, yeah. But I think legislatures would would be uh, doing us all a favor because liability, right? It 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 functions as a feedback system. You know, when there is a problem, the company, you know, when, when harm is occurring, the function of liability is then to uh, to penalize the creators of yeah. the harm who are the ones who can stop it from happening. 